Hi, this is Keaton Car 89 with the other of my quarter scale suit reviews. This is for the KM001 black suit. I have to say, I'm not impressed with the packaging so far. So let's just open it up and have a look inside. As you can see, there's only one piece of packaging or protection to the suit. And I would say that by the weight of it, that is the shoes. And it is already open. So let's have a look at the shoes. Different in style to the Asmus Toys Wayne set. The laces are molded. As you remember, they were separate, although still part of the shoe. Just a, uh, a leg joint hole on this one. And a solid molding, where on the Asmus it was a hollow. You could actually put a foot inside the shoe. Not a high polish job on this one. Okay, not too bad. Different style of shoe, thankfully. Not the same. So let's put that out of the way. Just check the other one. Yep. Okay. Put those to one side. First thing we have here is a black waistcoat. Excuse me. Not too bad tailoring, I have to say. And it looks like the buttons are actually threadable. They're not. They're not pop snapper like the Asmus. Okay, different way of doing things, and yeah, you know, nice, pleasant. Not as nice a clasp on the back as the Asmus, but still very well tailored. I have to give it credit for that. So let's have a look. Lined inside, yes tailored lining inside okay first impressions weren't good but uh, I have to say impressed with that I'll just check the pockets yes there is a pocket there and get my finger in so not too bad at all with that one I have to say okay maybe a bit of a full start so look at the trousers next again just a plain black on this Tailoring on it's pretty good. I'll have a look at the, the seam. Looks like folded under hem work on there. But still the stitching looks pretty good. Just check with nothing. Yes, a, there is pockets there. I'll just check with it. Right. Right, that's a false pocket on the back there. Show my thumbs going in. Nice belt loops for a thicker belt by the looks of it. Again, Velcro fly. Excuse me for going out of shot with some of this, but I'm trying to see what I'm doing without my camera being in the way. Okay. So, okay, pretty good. Not too bad at all on that one. So, we'll move that over. Okay. We have the jacket next. like it's been bounced around in the box it's not exactly pressed okay I think if you could get a quarter scale uh, Logan head this would be pretty good okay let's have a look at the, the buttons looks like a a small press stud type thing. Awesome press stud detailing those nice stone buttons on the jacket edge. And again, on the other side, I believe they are holes. Yes. I'll just check that. Yep, that is definitely a hole. So you can close the close the jacket. The Asmus Toys, if you remember, wasn't wasn't closable. Okay, nice cut to the sleeve. So presentation on the suit wasn't superb out of the box or in the box. It wasn't really packed at all, just sliding around. But I have to say, I'm impressed with the details so far. The shoes are a little bit of a letdown. But um, yeah, pretty good so far. 
Yeah, I do prefer the shoes on the Asmus, I have to say. But the styling on them, I have to say, is, is not too bad. Not too bad. But the lace detail would have been a bonus, and I, I prefer a, uh, a shoe than, a, than just a, an ankle peg hole. Right, moving along. Now, straight away, I can tell you I like this shirt. That is very nice. Yeah, good feel of quality to that. I like that. Let's have a look. Just kind of a popper, false, false button there. Yep, just a false button. But uh, nice. Yep, okay. A pearl look to it. It's kind of a pearl look to all the buttons, actually. Yeah, okay. Nice stitch work across the shoulder. Let's have a look. We, ah, okay, ah, okay. Let's have a look. This one is a Velcro fastening, not a popper. The uh, Asmus was. Um, for neatness, I, I kind of prefer the the Velcro, if I'm honest. So this shirt. I like the, the pinstripe on the asthma shirt, but this one's this one's uh, this one's selling me on this one. I like this one. I'm not too keen on the buttons. Prefer the buttons. So a mixed combination of the two. Prefer the prefer the pinstripe and the button detail on the asthma, but I do prefer the Velcro of this. But uh, yeah, okay. I'll, my impressions on this suit have gone up since I've uh, inspected it. Right. Just have a look at the tie. Now this one as I said is uh, with the Asmus it was all done for you this is what I, uh, I, I originally thought it, the Asmus would be which is a, a tie tie the quality is a little bit it's a bit coarse a little bit rough but uh, okay for what it is it's kind of like ooh that's like some kind of glue or I don't know. It's like a. It looks like it's been glued. Yeah, not too keen on that. I'm just trying to get a close look off camera. Just. I don't know. Yeah, it look. It looks like the there's been some kind of etch work, and then it's been folded over and glued. Uh, certainly tell that with the edge of the tie. Has it just it's like a fabric glue and it's been folded over so not not very good uh, tailoring on that at all but you know you're not going to see it so I'll forgive on that one but the the, the where the um, the asmus was like a silk feel this is very coarse and very rough on the tie I'm not a fan of that but um, yeah for appearance sake it works but uh, that's the first letdown of the of the um, that's the first letdown, actually. Um, I prefer the quality of the Asmus tie. I don't mind the, the, that this version is tieable. I'm okay with that, but the quality of the fabric used is not very good. Um, right, and the last thing in the box, just move the box out of the way, is the belt. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, the buckle's quite nice. Yeah, oh, hello, what have we got here? Right, it looks like fabric glue again. Yes, there's a big dollop of glue there. So it looks like the buckle's not stitched in it. No, it's not stitched in any way into place. It's just glued, a piece of fold over fabric glue. It's still tacky, actually. So uh, it's not going to stay sealed, but uh, it would have to be re-glued. Bit of super glue to keep that, uh, keep that stuck. I, can't, I don't know, I would have, maybe for the price you pay I would have expected a stitch in there maybe. Or, you know, the glue to be much stronger. But the, the buckle, I've got no complaints with that, so that's, that's okay. It's nothing fancy or elaborate, but uh, it'll do the job. The, the belt is a faux kind of leather, it's, it's well, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's kind of a pleather. I'm plaid the two. A bit plain. No detailing on it, just a 
strip of pleather folded over. Again, same kind of detailing as the tie. It's it's passable, but it's it's nothing special. Yeah, so um, you know, plenty of plenty of holes in there for um, how tight you want the belt. But uh, yeah, the tie and the belt are. I'd have to say, you know, the, the, the letdowns of this set. The shoes, it, it kind of goes from high to low. What you can see in shot now, I'll move those down. <laughs> those are a, a really good quality. Um, the shirt as well, I'll put the shirt up there, that's good quality. Then we go down a grade to the shoes, and then we go down a grade to the, uh, to the belt and the tie. But, okay, we'll uh, get it on a figure in the next video with uh, some Tony Stark accessories and we'll see how we get on. So that's all for this review of the KM Toys 001 uh, black suit and I'll see you in the next video. Put on a quarter scale Ku model body HD Tony Stark version and we'll see what it looks like when he's all dressed. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.